The goal was set, the spectators applauded, the runners were in their positions, and then the starting gun was heard. This happened in the crowded race of Nike Nosotras Corremos 2011. But what would be the challenge for 2012? We had to beat our own record and increase by 15% the number of runners, but that wasn't all. To reach the gold medal, we had to appeal to a key audience for Nike. Young women aged between 15 and 25 years old who were not interested in racing. The runway had several obstacles. First, Mexico is a country with the highest rate of obesity in the world, especially in women. Second, there is a lack of sports habit in the population. Third, young women between 15 and 25 years old are more interested in social activities than in sports. The strategy was clear. We were looking to provoke a group movement that could ignite the passion for running, based on three pillars. Celebrities that encouraged the participation in the race through mentions on radio and television, and by participating themselves. Key runners were identified and given a kit of bracelets so they could invite their friends. Understanding their social behavior, an application was created where girls could create groups, share tips, and invite their friends to participate. Finally, the race day had arrived. It was an unprecedented experience as well as the achievements. The number of runners was the highest ever. Moreover, we had an increase of 40% in participation of young women between 15 and 25 years old. 37% of the participants used the digital application and the likes on Nike's page grew by 25%. The event ensured the participants felt in their environment by including a giant screen that displayed messages programmed via Twitter that were published when the runner went across the finish line. We surpassed all expectations and left this strategy as a model to follow for Nike's next races. Under the motto, catch us if you can, young women of Mexico discovered the passion for running. <laughs>